Happy Friday, Millbrook. I was looking through this book, Lent and Easter, Wisdom from Henry Nowen, and I looked for today, and the Friday of the fourth week of Lent, and the theme is vocation, a call to vocation. Vocation is our God-given purpose in this world. It is um, the gifts that God gave you to respond to the needs of this world. And that reflection is particularly poignant for me at this point in my life, because starting this summer, I will begin my 25th year in ministry. I'm fortunate in that my vocation can be manifest through my work. And that's not the case for everyone. But um, over the course of my 25 years, I have served in three different contexts, um, nine years living in a faith community, one year as a hospital chaplain, and then 14 years in um, a local church. For some of us, we live our vocation through our work in other ways. My husband is an attorney and he works with immigrants. That is his calling and his vocation. Some of us met with um, an attorney and the office manager for Justice Matters that um, are, is one of our ministry partners. That attorney works also with survivors of human trafficking and they provide all kinds of support um, for that population. That is a vocation and a calling. Some of you live your vocation through your work as a teacher, someone in our church that works for the um, MS Society. All of these are vocations that are manifest through work and that might change over time. For some of you, it is your vocation and your purpose is manifest through the things you do outside of your work. One of our uh, very active volunteers was in my office this week and talking about all of the uh, details of her ministry and all these new ideas she has. And, and um, I said, this is so wonderful. Like you are really living out your purpose. And she said, I'm so glad I came back to the church but it's a thing that is not just nourishing her where she's only receiving, she's giving. And she is helping this ministry that touches many, many people flourish. That is her vocation. I said, you found your purpose. So as we come into this last week of Lent and before uh, going into Holy Week, I encourage all of us to reflect on the fact that Jesus was sent here with a mission and a purpose. And he followed that purpose that didn't just belong to his human nature, but was very much divinely given. And even there are times that he may have resisted it or been challenged by it. He said, Lord, let this cup pass from me. In the end, he gave himself for God's will. And we are all saved by that. We are all given new life by that. And as we walk with Jesus, as he lives out the fullest measure of his purpose and his vocation on this earth, may we reflect on our own purpose. And if we follow him, God will give us that purpose. So I pray that these last couple of weeks before Easter will help to give you a sense of purpose and vocation for your own life in whatever way God is leading you to fill that out. I wanna read you the reflection from Henry Nowen. We seldom realize fully that we are sent to fulfill God-given tasks. We act as if we have to choose how, where, and with whom to live. We act as if we were simply dropped down in creation and have to decide how to entertain ourselves until we die. But we were sent into the world by God just as Jesus was. Once we start living our lives with that conviction, we will soon know what we were sent to do. So as we walk with Jesus in these couple of weeks and reflect on his purpose, may we reflect on our own and what it is that God wants us to do.